Hey guys. Okay, so I am here to tell you all how to be a leader. And this is just not your average leader, but it pretty much is. Um, in order to have the world go in the right direction, which are the people, we all know that the world is the world. You can't get the world to move in a direction because the world is going to move in the, in the direction it is going to move in naturally without the human, um, the human's actions. And, you know, let's say probably less than 1% because you can cut down the trees, you know, and then it will take years to grow, but a tree is still going to grow. You know, even if you cut the tree down for the oxygen, you can't take the water out of the world because it has to just leave naturally. You know, that is just the world. You can't stop the air because that is something natural. That's human nature that forms naturally. So when I say that in order for us to have a leader to get the, the world to move into the right direction, I'm talking about um, getting the people to move into the right direction. And as you all know, a lot of people have been told that, you know, the ways of the world that is happening now and that's been happening, such as the food that we eat, um, going to work every day, working a nine to five job. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, but people want to feel freer. Some people don't feel healthy enough. Some people, you know, and then they like to, you know, make up for that by saying, well, you know, you have to make a living. You have to work somewhere in order to survive. Either you go to school or you, you know, go find another job that doesn't require um, a long education um, for you to ob obtain a certain position so that you can feed yourself and your family. And that makes perfect sense. Um, but there are also other things out there that you are really good at that will allow you to not work as much that you are working now for the little amount of money that you are receiving. Yes, everyone has to work for money. Everyone has to work to make a living. But I wanted people to understand that the system, um, and there's nothing wrong with having a system because a system um, is an example to set for other people to know that these are certain practices that you and I should take in order to, you know, have a, a structured and orderly lifestyle so that we can, you know, continue to practice the routine and be able to take care of ourselves. And that there's nothing wrong with that at all. Another thing is um, the food that we eat. Well, like I said before, um, doctors know and scientists know that our medicine really is coming from what is growing from the ground. That is really our medicine, okay? And chemical-based solutions, chemical-based ingredients that are, input, that are placed in these medicines are also placed along with the medicines with natural ingredients. And some people's bloodline, their blood type, some people's race are genetically um, functional best with 100% natural ingredients. And scientists and other doctors know this answer, but because we have a world with people who don't have the specific bloodline or blood type that is functional best with 100% natural ingredients to heal their body, they are having to take the chemical-based ingredients that are inside the medicine because it is going to heal them a lot faster than if they were to take the natural ingredients, you know? And the natural ingredients can heal many, many people in different ways. But 
there is something strong and that is the natural response to a person's body that is capable of receiving the healing from the natural herbs and plants and the food and the vegetables and the fruits that grow from the ground. And another thing is, is that the chemical, so when I, when I go there, I'm talking about the different bloodlines. There are Indian, there are Asians, there are, you know, Africans, there are Caucasians. And honestly, um, people who are Caucasian would be one of the main reasons because of the blood, the bloodline. They would be one of the main reasons for the, the ones who, who, who would need to take the chemical-based solutions to heal them um, because of their bloodline. This is a melanated thing. Um, now, there are some Caucasian people who have melanin inside of their skin. I mean, excuse me, inside of the blood. Well, yeah, down inside of their skin. And there are some people, but see, it's a very low percentage. And there are some Caucasian people who, you know, they, it, it's, it's there in their blood because they have a close relative. And then it's there in their blood because of past generations. And some people don't know that they've had, you know, a melanated person um, mate with someone in the bloodline. And many of us won't be able to tell if, you know, if a Caucasian person in their bloodline has made it, has made it throughout the way with someone in the bloodline and it's inside of them. Um, and it's easy to say that for other races also, but there has been already you know test ran on people's bloodlines that it will show that if you were 42 percent europe two percent europe eight percent europe you know um but that is just not the only reason for that um that is one of the main reasons um but the other reason is for the chemical um the chemicals to be added inside of the medicine is because there are other things that are inside of people's bodies that needs to needs to leave so that the the natural ingredients can do its job now the natural the natural ingredients that you take which is from the fruits and vegetables and the herbs that are here from, on the ground that grow from the ground um has been studied for many, many years. And like I said before, scientists and, um, you know, doctors know that the true medicine comes from natural ingredients. And so you, you when you ask someone, you know, well, if that is the case, then why are medicines still being pushed for people to take? And why aren't people, you know, turning to 100%, you know, um, natural things. Well, that is because there was, there has been a repeated process. See, it's almost like, well, it isn't almost like, it is like we have repeated something that our ancestors or people that were here way before us had um, ministered for the approval for this process to be repeated over and over again. And it's, 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 it's a serious thing to take a look at because it's, it's, I can't say it's similar, but yeah, if in this case, I can say it's similar. If your mother and your father or your or your mother your mother or your father had passed away and they whooped the crap out of you every single day for using profanity you so you said a curse word you know you got you got beat probably with you know a belt or something greater let's say that you got abused nine times out of ten 
Um, some people, you know, they don't feel, you know, happy when that happens. But once you get older and you have your own children, do you beat your own children just like your parents beat you? Or do you find another way because you knew that just talking to yourself or having someone tell you what to do and how to how not to do this, you know, there was always another way of teaching someone without continuing the process over and over again. So that is similar to doctors in or scientists or the creators of a world that wanted us to take medicine instead of taking the natural ingredients as the medicine, um, you know, repeating that process over and over again, but the people who created those rules are deceased. So do we continue with this now that we're the only ones alive and we can live a better lifestyle? Or do we continue the process because it's always been done that way? And the only reason for people to fear is because they have not practiced and they feel as if that the practice of what's been happening is something that should be repeated to set order. But you can clearly see that there's no order in your pain. You don't want to feel in pain. So by not continuing that process over again, you heal yourself. So that is something that most people, you know, are beginning to realize they hadn't realized it, but now they are realizing it. And honestly, that comes for the same as the taxation without representation. Okay. Um, if you go to work and you work for something and they say you're getting paid, let's say for instance, $10 an hour and you go to work for eight hours and let's say that's $80 that day. Okay. At the end of the week, just let's say you work for five days, 80 times five, you should be bringing home the exact dollar amount. You shouldn't be bringing home less because for what reason you worked some hours and some of those hours are going to be cut to pay them back, but they are the ones who paid you. Now, taxation without representation, that was a war and that was a fault that was and that was actually, actually actually a battle years ago from people who are deceased now. So because we are now alive, we have the opportunity to change that because we don't feel like we're being healed, but we will be healed once we change it. So it's too similar as if, if your mother and your father abused you as a child. Now that you have children, well, I can teach them and they do do that. If they do the complete opposite, I have to find another way to get it to them in order to, in, instead of just beating them. But some people feel like, well, I got beat when I was a child, so I'm going to beat you. Okay. Then that cycle is going to repeat itself. And hopefully your children will be the star of the family and not repeat it because sometimes it takes stars to, to take away the, um, the repeated process. You see, someone who is or isn't considered a star are the people who are considered um, someone here on earth and they are easily influenced to repeat the same thing over and over again. And a star is way up there and they're not of this earthly thing, the earthly things. They are above and people look up for direction. That's why people are considered stars, you know. So, it would be easier for someone to be a leader and allow people to see that, you know, taxes really, really are something that can prohibit someone from living a prosperous lifestyle. And when I say prosperous, I'm talking about a happy and a healthy lifestyle because some of that money that they take out for taxes, you know, could be used for something else for their health. But because of taxes, they didn't make enough when they got their check or whenever they got paid when they got at the end of the week or at the end of every two weeks. You know, they had to borrow money from someone else or do something else or they had to miss out on something, you know. Um, 
But look how much people would get far if they didn't get taxed. And a lot of people fear taxation because they feel like it's not going to, you know, help the economy move forward, but it will. And the reason why they think it isn't, it is not going to make the economy move forward is because they feel as if other people are missing out on something. They feel like other things need to be purchased, but everything is already purchased and they have already gotten the money. The system has already made money off of you. They had enough to pay you, but also they want some of that money back. But it would not stop the process of, of, a, of a repeated cycle that's making people unhappy. You see, the system used to be paying taxes and getting it back at tax season but then you will be taxed from your taxes because they have to take out taxes. And that right there is repeating the process over again. How about just paying the person exactly what you promised to pay them and they will have enough money to get out of the system and not work for the company because they have enough money saved up to do something else totally different. You see, they have probably designed another company so that they won't have to worry about being taxed from your company because now they're their own boss. They have saved enough money to work for themselves. And it's, it isn't all about working for someone and working for someone. People really honestly want to work for themselves so that they can take care of themselves because people know how to take care of themselves without relying on someone to um, allow them or make them stand on their feet or go to work to work for someone else just to take care of their health. You see, everyone wants to relax and enjoy different parts of the world and travel and do things to enjoy their life, but instead they're stuck in the house or stuck at work, you know, and don't get enough time to spend with their children to teach them or their children because they're at work. You see, um, but that's another reason why, you know, taxes is um, another reason for people to not feel like they are free because they don't feel like their money is, they don't feel like they're being, you know, valued enough or being um, paid for their services the, at the best full, full advantage as it could be. Um, it's the same thing with education. Yes, there are some things in school that we learn but we don't come continue that throughout our everyday life. You know, we need to learn how to read and write, you know, um, and count. That is true. Um, but a lot of people go throughout the days of their life not doing anything, but doing certain routines that is considered work. And anyone else who can read and write and count, you know, um, they have someone else working for, you know, helping them do so. But there's another way that people are able to um, provide a service without engaging with everyday things. And I know that may sound a little silly, but it's been proven that, you know, some people, you know, didn't really know how to speak English well or, um, or read or write, but they were very good at something else. So if you allow that person to perform for you by working or doing something, allow them to work for themselves and make a living off of it by providing that someone, because everyone is good at doing something. So if you allow that person to get paid for doing something that they know how to do, if they don't know how to do something else that someone else does, clearly they know how to do something. Okay, everyone knows how to do something very well. So once you pay someone by doing that, they are working for themselves and not standing at a factory doing something totally different. Now, there's nothing wrong with working at a factory or anywhere else, but... You can literally ask anyone working for any company, whether it's fast food or hotel or cleaning or, or anything, you can, they all would rather 
be at home or traveling, enjoying their lives, you know, but still be able to, you know, feed themselves and have a place to live and live a, a prosperous life. You know, um, the old system um, said to go to school, then go to work and repeat it over and over again. And then some people um, left that system and did something else totally different, um, which was completely fine. But we want everyone to have the opportunity because I mean, people do have the opportunity, but some people don't have the opportunity because they were told and taught to repeat the same process over and over again. And, you know, some people, they would go to school and they would learn, you know, math, reading, science, history, and then they will repeat it over and over and over again, all the way to the 12th grade. And then when they got to college, you thought that, you know, they can begin their major, but really they have to repeat what they've learned in high school and elementary as an elective first, and then could gradually get to the course. And then they don't even get to their full major because they still have to take math and science. And a lot of people have God's gift, the gift that they have to repeat to work for themselves at a very young age. And the old system wanted us to repeat, you know, the regular, you know, um, studies like math and science. You know, if you really, really desire to major and that be your job for the rest of your life, you really love math that much, you should have, shouldn't have a problem with that math. You shouldn't. But even for those, um, for someone who loves math so much, who have passed a math class every single step of the way, even they deserve not to repeat that over and over again. Even they deserve to be given the job to just teach it and, and not be in school for years and years and years and years. Even they need to just be granted with the job. You know, so they won't be learning about other things that they really aren't interested in. It's the same way. So once this, once we have given people the opportunity to be free in that way, you know, once we find a leader who understands this, then the world would be in a better position. Or should I say the people of the world would be in a better position. And that is absolutely something that I definitely and other people would definitely agree to. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's a great leader. You know, I absolutely believe that that's what a leader should be. And another great leader, because a lot of times, like I said before, um, something that will allow people to disagree with that is because they feared that, you know, it will be a disservice to the, to America, to the system, to have things, you know, be ran in that order. But the whole concept for us having this conversation is to say that it would be a disorder if that was the system and and we wanted to continue with that, then it would be a disorder. But if we if no one wanted to continue with that system and wanted a newer system that was more freer, then there would be no disagreement because no one would want the old system. Everyone would want the new system. And another reason why a lot of people, or should I say a little bit, because really Everyone wants this newer system. Everyone wants to be free. And the other reasons for people to doubt that from happening for having a freer system is because they feel as if it's going to, well, lead everyone in a debt. They feel like people are going to be in a debt, but there will be no debt because the newer system 
doesn't owe anybody anything. Okay, because the newer system doesn't have you owe us for going to the hospital and checking to see if your life is okay. Why? Because we all will be living a healthy lifestyle. We all will be eating natural foods. We are our doctor. We are our medicine. There's there there. If you have a doctor, that's perfectly fine. That's great. You have someone who's more knowledgeable of uh, taking care of your body than you are knowledgeable of. And again, even a doctor shouldn't be doing math and, and anything else that they don't feel interested in. They want to find, they want to be interested in going for, that's a lot, that's why a lot of people don't become doctors because other studies had made them, you know, it, it, it had, um, de-energize them with the desire of wanting to continue to do something that they once had energy for but a lot of other things that were unnecessary to their desire took that desire the main desire away and now people want to desire something else just to get that main desire back because it was a very strong desire to be a doctor but other things of the world has caused them to not want to continue because they owe the government for something that what should have been free you know or you know it could be it could be basically anything so that is that is the main the main reason you know and it's not anything for one for us to blame anyone, that is what I wanted to say. The other thing that got that's making people not want to continue is because they blame themselves and they blame other people. But we can't blame anyone that is alive. We can only blame the people who were designed to make these rules, who, who designed these rules for us to follow years ago, and they are deceased. They are deceased. So we are the only ones to blame for allowing something to continue over and over again. It would probably take another 100, 200 years for someone else to wake up and do the same thing to end the cycle of the repeated process. Now, if we repeat it over and over again, then we will be the problem because especially, well, either we know it or we don't know it, you know, um, no taxes, let people get paid, let people have the money that they were promised. If you promise someone $15 an hour and they were at work for nine hours through 15 times nine, if they was at work for seven days a week, wow, that's, you know, to a lot of people, that's a lot of money, you know, but it wouldn't make sense to take money out because now you're not giving us $15 an hour for nine hours. Now you give me $15 for 12 hours because you took out taxes, you know? So it's not $15 an hour for, for eight hours or nine hours a day that you go to work, you know? Um, and then when taxes get here, you get some of your money back that you made all year, but then that's also taxed. And then when you cash your check, that's also taxed. You see, and that's the reason why I said if we continue the process, you know, it would be a disservice. But if we don't continue it, it's not going to be a disservice. And that is another thing, you know. So everything, when it comes down from the food that we eat, you know, no one will have to worry about going to the doctor or have a heart disease problem or anything because their medicine is the natural things that you can grow from home. You can grow your own garden and have your own medicine. You're your own doctor. Um, education, you know, if you know that you're good at something, but a school or a system has something designed that's having you spend a lot of time to study for and with and of, and, it's, and it outweighs the amount of study that you need to be putting for something that you truly desire in the most, that itself is going to be, you know, um, a disservice. Be um, it can, I'm not gonna say it will, it can be a disservice depending on how much you're willing to give up and, um, 
put up with without um, taking away your desire to do what you came there to do or what you really truly desired to do the most. Because a lot of people, and even I, you know, I said, you know, I wanted to go to school for to be um, a news reporter, to be a news anchor, you know, but there were other things in school that, you know, um, required me to spend more time on. Um, I still had to do things like read the prompt and things like that, but I haven't even got a chance to really do that. I had to go on YouTube and learn, and I studied off of YouTube um, because I had the skills and the passion for it. And it was the energy that was needed for someone who was actually on set, ready to go live. But other things had I had to practice on, which was math and other things that were, you know, history is, it was fun and things like that. History can, you know, can go with the um, new, being a news reporter because you, it would be nice for you to know certain people's, you know, um, history um, before you go become a news reporter because you have different social um, backgrounds to learn about and you're now more aware of certain things before you start practicing or saying certain people's names or learning about different things. But again, you learn all of that in grade school, in high school, and in, and in middle school. So by the time you get to college, it will be nice for you to go ahead into your major because you've passed all the math. You won't be using the math in your future. You wouldn't learn, you need to, you really, literally would need to learn how to do math by subtracting, multiplying, addition, 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 and, you know, division, you know, you need to know that. <laughs> you need to know how to do um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and subtraction, division, and all that. <laughs> um, but yeah, like that is something that is serious that people um, should really truly think about because they spend a lot of time on something like that. And a lot of people were in trouble in school for spending a lot of time on something um, that had nothing to do with what the instructor was telling them to do. And even, even they knew how important it was to pay attention to something that is being taught to you so that you will be able to know how to do. You know, so just imagine if you're if you have a passion to do something else that can cost you to make money and have you sustained, sustainable and prospering for the rest of your life by a skill that you know how to do from birth or from a child that you can do really well. Imagine pushing that to the side and not wanting to do it anymore because you have to place that energy to something else that you won't even be using after you get finished school. That is harmful. That is so hurtful. You know, some people make it out of that and some people don't because you never know what type of background that that person has had. And they may have put up with so much that they want to dedicate their time into putting what they desire and what they know and how to do more into the field that they, that they desire to do so that they could be well at it. Not that they, and that's if they're already well. You know, it's up to the person to say, hey, you know, and now it's pretty much up to you. You know, you can go make your own, get your own job. You can get on YouTube and do your own thing now. Yes, you can, but a lot of people are still asleep and they're not awakened because a repeated process continues to happen. But we should repeat the, pro the process of telling each other that, you know, we were brainwashed by, and people have been telling us this for many years, but, you know, YouTube started in 2005. That was a tremendous door opener for a lot of people to leave their jobs. It was a tremendous door opener. But, you know, uh, a lot of people were asleep because some people in their family, you know, didn't repeat newer opportunities like that for them to be good at understanding more often than they did for a repeated process of doing something that they were already used to doing that pretty much led them, you know, not to experience the freedom that they could experience. And that is one of the other reasons why I said we do need a leader because it's going to take a leader 
who can deliver the information the correct way without causing harm. And that is to get everyone to understand this, this information that I am providing. And whenever they understand it, you know, also allow them to understand to know that their next move should be to teach someone what I just said instead of saying, well, how are we going to do it when the system is doing this? That's when you become the system by teaching other people and they will understand that they have to step away from the old system and design their own. So by getting on YouTube is an escape route than to be flipping burgers or doing whatever you do every single day that is taking away your money. And even YouTubers, even YouTubers make a quite a bit money. I know some YouTubers say that they don't make that much and I do not agree with that. I believe that they make some money on YouTube. And um, <laughs> some people look make less than others, yeah. But, you know, you're making some money on YouTube. Uh, one YouTube video can get you paid more than what you make a whole month. One video. And that's, that's, a, that's a tremendous blessing. That really is. Um, but whenever you do share this information or this video with anyone, please let people know, okay? And have them understand that the next journey and the next step and the next process that you should do is not blame anyone in your family, especially the people who were here. And I'm gonna to have to say, you know, the system was designed by Caucasian people. It, it really was. Um, there were other colors also, because remember, no matter how far you date back, there was always an African-American a part of the Congress making decisions also. There was always another race making decisions also. So it wasn't just a, a Caucasian thing, but the mainstream part of it, yeah, it was. But we can take away the Confederate system, the old system, and change it and take it out and make a more um, diverse cultural system. So it wouldn't necessarily be a color thing anymore. It would be a... Well, at the end of the day, it kind of would be a color thing. You know, because it's, 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 and, and, and to, to a degree, it's not a color thing like, um, it's white. It's not going to be white anymore. It's not going to be wrong anymore. It's not going to be enslaved anymore. It's going to be a freer system. And that's what we need to continue to, to tell people and have them understand that it's not our fault. It is if we continue the process of eating foods that aren't going to make us healthy or adding chemicals inside of the medicine instead of just taking natural ingredients or paying taxes when we were promised to get something, the amount that we worked for, you know, or going to school and learning things that has nothing to do with what we know how to do best that can change the world and make us move quicker and faster, have a prosperous lifestyle and keep our families, you know? And that is the, that is, that is the number one, you know, um, routine that should be repeated over and over and over and over and over. Because everyone who is at work right now some may say that they, they enjoy working where they do, and that is absolutely true. But deep down inside of everybody, they want to live their life freely. They want to have money and 
do some amount of work so that they can have their um, legacy moved on somewhere. Some people say they don't care and some people don't, you know, but once you realize how free you can be and once you start traveling, going everywhere, and once you start realizing that you're your own boss and you don't work for anybody and everybody works for themselves and everybody's happy, then you'll be able to see that that's the leadership that we need for people to be free. See you guys.